Hey everybody, this is My Best Life at Zeker's Caravan and we are going to do a very quick unboxing by Facial Panels and the Jackery 1000 version 2. There's the original, the OG Explorer 240. Let's check them out. If you noticed, I have an Iceco hiding behind this uh, Jackery. The ice co is relevant because I didn't really want to get a large solar unit until I got the ice co. The ice co I was running off of my OG Bluetti, and it's like a three or 500 watt, and it did an okay job, but man, I started having problems. This started pulling too much energy all the time. So ice co sent me a refurbished unit before i even start using it i'm going to use it with the jackery 1000 which is what they suggest that you run these things with you can run the ice co with less power but it's not optimal i guess we'll find out let's open up this jackery and uh get her charged up shall we now, like I said, this is going to be a quick unboxing. I've never really understood unboxing videos. There we go. I think I have to push these in in order. Wow. There it is. Yeah, I didn't want to get a bigger unit because, you know, they're bigger. They're not as portable. And I didn't want to get a bigger unit because, uh, you know, then you got to get more solar panels and takes longer to charge maybe i don't know but lo and behold here i am we have the 1000 watt now apparently this can surge up to 3000 watts look at that whoa and a manual and we're packaging let's pull this thing out all together put the knife away so I don't hurt myself and ladies and gentlemen it's the Jackery Explorer 1000 version 2 why did I pick this over the Blue Eddy this passes the sound isolation test or the noise the sound test you know when you plug it a sound thing into this and all a piece of audio gear that's what I'm trying to say um, it doesn't make that horrible noise like it does with the Blue Eddy and a lot of other ones. So Jackery is known for passing the sound test, sound noise isolation test, something like that. Yeah, it passes that test, but I'm gonna find out on my own if it actually passes that test or not. Let's open up the Solar Saga. This is the inputs, the AC and DC inputs. This has two of them, and then this has one of them. So uh, I bought the Solar Saga um, panels, so I didn't have to get an adapter. I know they're a lot more expensive, but I think adapters suck. I hate having to use adapters. Now this is the Solar Saga 200 with bifacial panels. Now, if you don't know what bifacial panels are, uh, don't worry, because I don't really explain what they are. <laughs> I hope I have bifacial panels. But I noticed they probably are just not advertising on a bifacial. I've never used bifacial panels before. I'm currently using a 200 watt Renogy. Yeah, I was considering sending back the Renogy panels since I have this. But, like I said, the uh, Jackery is proprietary. Or did I say that? Well, I'll say it now. Jackery is proprietary. And if you use any sort of other panels, you have to have the adapter for it. This, this goes into the panels and this goes in to the Jackery itself. I saw two inputs for the Jackery, as you saw as well. So my assumption is, is that's so you can hook multiple panels up. 
this, they also have a USB-C and a USB-A right off of the cord. That's pretty cool. All right, let's plug these things in. The special thing I'm gonna do here that's worth watching the video for is I'm gonna see how this Jackery bifacial 200 watt panel compares to the Renogy folding panels. Let's check it out. I gotta say I'm immediately impressed with the uh, Solar Saga panels build and look at that look at that input that is just awesome and just the materials it's not cloth right um they it unfolds so so far so good and then also look we're getting 152 watts right out the gate it comes to you charged at about 28. wow that's cool that's very cool these are a little on the flimsy side, but you know, as long as you set it up right, uh, there's only two props. Usually there's like three or four with these types of panels, but this, these are much more rigid than the sort of cloth uh, panels. I guess this is an adapter for other um, solar systems, which is cool. Um, and then this goes directly into the jack rat. I tried just plugging this in and I got no reading. So yeah, you pull that off, that adapter off for other solar units and you just put that in. Now let's see how it compares to the Renogy panel. Kind of found something out and I had my suspicions. The Jackery panels work fine, charging. The 1000 V2. They also work fine charging the original Jackery 240. However, I can't use these panels unless I get a, um, an adapter. I can't use these panels with that Jackery. I can use these panels with this Jackery. It's pretty much maxed out at 65 probably bump up to 67 at most um, so this is 200 watt panels on a 240 uh, is way over paneled uh, this isn't going to charge more than 67 watts but the jackeries can take over paneling or at least that's what I'm told the Renergy does not work on that jackery like I said, unless you use an adapter. I don't like using adapters. Well, there we have it. Both Jackeries being charged. I do think I'm gonna keep the Renergy. I think it's gonna come in handy for charging non-Jackery products. And there it is, an accumulative 400 watts of folding solar. We're getting uh, over 150 watts with the Solar Saga. And, uh, you know, the Renergy doesn't do too bad. Uh, that charges up at about 220, 230 something. So the Renergy is usually on average getting about 120. I don't think more than 130. And here we're getting about 150 or more. Keep in mind, charging your solar unit up in triple digit weather is not optimum or optimal. But this is definitely a good example of extreme conditions of charging your solar. It actually accepts 400 watts uh, of input, however, I have a 200 watt panel here and a 200 watt panel here. Ideally, I'd like to plug both of these in to the Jackery 1000. Yeah, I am about one hour away from being fully charged. But in the midst of moving it, I don't know if you guys can see it all that well. See those little two scratches, little two scratch marks there? 
it fell over and uh, fell on top of some PVC pipes that were sticking up out of the ground and uh, yeah, scratched it pretty easily so yeah they're not that durable and I would say pretty flimsy too without having a center you have to use the unit or something to prop it up in the center otherwise it would just sag really bad so interesting that they went with this uh, design I do think something that's really cool is the USB and USB A USB C and USB A ports so you could plug in without doing really the pass through by way of the battery which discharges the battery life quicker good idea on that jackery and uh yeah man my energy 200 watt panels just didn't fit into there i don't know what sort of adapter i need or if i can even use another panel not sure it's 107 degrees right now and uh luckily the Jackery Explorer can uh, handle those sorts of temperatures. Now, regarding how much solar it can take in, there seems to be a point of uh, contention. I, through what I've been able to discern, it's 200 watts. So typically you might put two 100 watt panels in there. I'm not sure if you can charge up to 400 watts, but that has not been clear. Some literature says yes, other literature says uh, 200 watts. And you would say, well, you follow the Jackery literature. The Jackery literature is not really all that cohesive. I'll tell you what, that Jackery is outperforming my iPhone. That's for sure. This thing is burning up. And yes, I have reached out to the company uh, and ask them if the Explorer 1000 version 2 charges up to 200 watts or up to 400 watts. I'll let you know as soon as I find out or you can leave it down in the description below. That's a really cool little feature. That little shadow should be right in the center. It's a little off center right now, but not too bad. And that tells you if your panels are in the at the right angle. The magnets that they use um, and the materials. I think they just should have put one more prop up there to make it a bit more sturdy. And they have even little grommet holes, which that's good. You got four at the extreme ends, one, two, and then two at the other end. All right, although it is a little hazy, there are no real clouds in the sky. And that's set up nearly perfect. You see the shadow on the bullseye. 173, 174. The most I've seen this spike up to is 178, I believe, or 184 or so but I'm finding that 174 is about the maximum out of the 200 watts. Now, I also thought I'd show you the Solar Saga 200 bifacial panels on my original OG Jackery 240. The frustrating thing is the inputs for the solar are not standard either of these adapters will work in other words uh, this is a split adapter and it will work however the accessories that came with the jackery 240 definitely do not work with the explorer 1000 v2 for instance the cigarette charger that came with this jackery well no such accessories come with the explorer 1000 v2 and i tried using the cigarette charger that came with this to charge the explorer 
1000 V2 and it just simply didn't work. It didn't matter which um, adapter end I used. That's rather perplexing. Now, a 200 watt panel charging this Jackery 240 is way over panel to say the least. And this is charging at its maximum rate. There's actually about 157 watts they're trying to get in, but Jackery only allows 69 of those in the original 240. And I hear that it does not damage the unit to over panel it. It just won't accept anything over the limit, which apparently here is, well, 69. Now, that Jackery Explorer 240, I'm just topping it off to 85%. Uh, yeah, I'll probably stop topping off the Explorer 1000 to 100 and probably start bringing that down to 80 to 85% charge. All right, I just heard back from Jackery. They said that the Jackery car adapter should work on the Explorer 1000 V2. Let's see. Plug this in here. There it is. And I'm going to start the car and then I'm going to plug this in. All right. Plug in. Nothing. And that's what I thought would happen. However, if I plug this into the Jackery 240, look. And boom. Yeah. Jackery also said that I should be able to plug my 200 watt Renergy panel into the eight millimeter ports. And here's the cord that I have for this. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Let's try this adapter first. And let's see if it reads anything. No. All right, now let's try it with that adapter. And nothing. Now, I already know that this panel works with this Jackery, and it doesn't matter what adapter I use, it still works. So, Jackery, you're not answering my question. All right. Well, this video has lasted long enough. I'm going to go ahead and post this, and I'll send it to Jackery. I've been going back and forth with Jackery just endlessly. It's, it's really ridiculous. Hopefully, we can get some answers to the issues that we're having here. Is this just an issue with my unit, or is it with the, an issue with all the... Uh, Explore 1000 V2s. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll we'll see how uh, part two of this video goes. Aloha.